Hi guys, it's Zach from 1 to 3 Gamers here. And today I'm going to be starting my new series, which I think I'm going to call Farming, Farming, Farming. Now, in this series, I'm going to explain easy ways to farm bosses in Borderlands 2 to get the legendaries that you want. Now, in this episode, I'm going to be farming Knuckle Dragger, the first boss you encounter in the whole game. To do this, you want to travel to the Windshear Waste or Claptrap's place, whatever you want to call it and go to this location where I'm pointing out. So in this series I'm basically going to show you the most efficient ways of farming these bosses and telling you the legendaries that they drop and what I think of them. So anyway you want to go follow the path, the main path this way. I'm just going to keep going this direction until you get to the I guess arena where you fight <coughs> Sorry. Arena where you fight Knuckle Dragon. So, see, he's there. You then, well, what I like to do, you don't have to do this, because the loot, no matter what, always goes up there. I like to just get up here so I can see firsthand where the, what the loot is. So, bring him over here a bit so I can see the loot. Silence! So, we're gonna kill him. Check the loot. Haha, <laughs> look at that! First time, first time I get the legendary. What is the luck in that? Level 72 for a floated hornet. I weren't even planning on getting a legendary. Well, that, I can tell you, is pretty sick, to be honest. Normally, I'd have to sit here for like hours trying to get these legendaries, but I guess they're, that, the luck was on my side for once. Anyway, I guess I should carry on with the video. That is not how I'm going to farm him though, because it takes a while to go over there, really, doesn't it? So, what you want to do after killing him, is go, in, go into the southern shelf. I mean, you might be thinking, oh, this is a bit weird, this isn't where the boss is, but you'll understand in a second. When you go into the southern shelf, you want to straight away, turn around, and go back into Windshear Waste. This won't respawn the boss, but then after, you go back in, you then simply want to save and quit, which I will do in a second. Just checking for something. Um, you simply just want to save and quit. Save and quit the game. And then, now, you should spawn back into the windshield waste at that location, which is literally two foot in front of the boss. So, waiting for this updating, creating online session, whatever. Don't care continue straight away and you're back in the windshield waste and you'll spawn pretty close to knuckle dragon so you come out here there he is straight away he jumped over me come down here i'll wait for him to come down hurry up oh, just throw stuff at me you can kill him quicker than this obviously i'm sticking in time kill him again drop all his loot Check through his loot. Do you drop anything? No. Oh yeah, sometimes there's a little midge mong. Midge midget. Midge mong? No, it's different boss. Um, midget bully mong thing. But yeah, you can just keep repeating that until you get your legendary, but I was lucky enough to get the hornet straight away. Which was pretty cool, to be certainly honest with you. It saves me farming now. Got the first legendary of the series. So, yeah, I basically, <laughs> I guess I can easily just tell you what the Hornet is like. So, the Hornet is, as well, it's, I think it always spawns in acid, so I th like, well, corrosive element. It's not right pistol, I wouldn't, like, use it constantly. I just kind of have it, because I'm trying to collect all of the legendaries at level 72. But that is a pretty cool, um, like gun to add to my collection to tell you honest with you so anyway guys that's the um, end of this video and i will see you next time